Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a smooth tile like this one. So to get started you need to create a new composition. I'm gonna call it main and I'm gonna be setting it to 2 seconds and 15 frames in duration. I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset and now I'm gonna click OK. So the first step is gonna be selecting the type tool and adding your text. So I'm going to type in smooth title and then I'm gonna select this text layer and I'm going to align it to the center of the composition. The next step is gonna be creating a new shape layer and then I'm going to add a rectangle to it and I'm also going to add a stroke. Now with the size we want to uncheck constraint proportions and we need to set it to somewhere around 400 by maybe 225 and then I want to set the stroke width to 12. So we have created this so far. Now the next step is going to be animating the size of the rectangle path and then pressing R and animating the rotation. But I'm going to move the playhead to the first frame and then I'm going to click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then I will press U and that will show me the two keyframes that I've created. So I'm going to create another size keyframe and then 15 frames later, which is at the 16th frame, I'm going to create a second set of keyframes. So we don't want to change these values, we just want to change these right here. So on the first keyframe of the size, I want to set both values to zero. And then on the second keyframe, I just want to set the first value to zero. So right now we first have this and then we have this. The next step is going to be setting the value of the first rotation keyframe to minus 90 degrees. And now we have this. The final step with this animation is going to be selecting all these keyframes and then hitting F9 to easy ease the animation and make it look a bit smoother. Now I'm going to rename this to main shape and then I'm going to duplicate this main shape and I'm going to delete the stroke and I'm going to add a fill. It doesn't matter which color it is and I'm going to rename it to matte. I'm going to place it on top of the title, uh, the text of the title. And as you can see, we just have a red rectangle, but this is where we want the text to be visible. So we're going to set the track matte mode to alpha matte. And right now, as you can see, the text is only visible inside of this rectangle. The next step is going to be selecting all these layers by clicking on the first one and then shift clicking on the last one and then pressing Control D. That's going to duplicate them and then with them selected I'm going to click on them and I'm going to drag them to the bottom. Now we need to change the color of the stroke of the main shape and the color of the text. I'm going to take the stroke of the main shape and I'm going to make it bright red like that and the color of the second text layer I'm gonna make it, I guess that this is lime green. It's almost yellow, like this. And as you can see, nothing is happening. So how do we create that fake 3D extrusion look? We need to create two null objects and I'm gonna select null number one. So I'm gonna select these three layers, the first three layers that we've created and we're gonna parent them to the null one and the duplicates, I'm going to parent them to null 2. So let's select both these nulls and then press S, which is going to show us the scale property. And then let's move the playhead to the 20th frame. So if I uncheck constraint proportions on null 2, and if I change the X value of the scale, as you can see, we have the second rectangle and the second text layer. So if we set it to maybe 95 or 96, as you can see, we get this fake 3D extrusion and that's the trick. So I'm going to create a scale keyframe for both of these and then I'm going to move the playhead to one second and I'm going to create a second set of keyframes. And right here, we want to set the Y value of the scale to 96 and we want to set the scale of the null one to 96. You can easy use these keyframes too and right now if we preview this animation as you can see we have the smooth title. Now to make this animate out 
I'm going to create a new composition and this time it's going to be five seconds long, which is twice the duration of the first composition. I'm going to call it title. And then I'm going to drag this main composition inside of it. I'm going to press Ctrl D and then I'm going to drag the second main composition to start where the first one ends. I'm going to right click on it and go to time, time reverse layer. So now it's going to go in reverse and it's going to animate out. If you want to add a background, uh, use any footage and just put it underneath of these two main compositions. So right now, if I preview this, you can see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.